and look at this. Voikler has pushed them out in front. He's now riding behind them. He is going to attack these riders, and here he goes. That was a perfect move, and he's put it in. And Lance Leo, Luis Leon Sanchez saw his shadow, Paul, and got the kick on him. Well, he knew that was the moment to move, and Luis Leon Sanchez has got the power in those legs. Thomas Volkler could not get onto his slipstream, Phil, and it looks like the Spaniard is going to get himself another victory at the Tour de France as Volkler comes round. It's going to be a yellow jersey for Volkler. He dreamed of the stage victory. And in his favourite area here, as Luis Leon Sanchez wins again, he went down the road at Oriac where the race restarts in two days' time. He gets the victory. The clock will start now and that's when we'll find out just by how much Thomas Voigtler leads the Tour de France when we restart from Oriac on Tuesday and uh, Sandy Cassar I think he really was tired he, he's lucky to have hung on here to finish with the leaders I think well a great little well timed sprint there by Luis Leon Sanchez he is a great rider I remember when he won the tour down under in Australia everybody then the Spanish press at that time was saying this man will become the new Miguel Indurain because he's a fantastic individual individual time trialist uh, Luis Leon Sanchez that was a great uh, victory for him but that was a well-timed sprint he played his role in the breakaway Phil to make sure that it was a successful breakaway and I'm not surprised that poor old Tommy Vokler didn't win because he did the majority of the pacemaking over the last 30 kilometers here we go the first man up is Luis Leon Sanchez in history his third ever stage win in the Tour de France but this was a great one for him but today it's happy days for Rabobank. It's been uh, one of the most successful teams of the year. Uh, they started out with a big victory in the Santos Tour Down Under with their Australian member of their team. And now it looks as though they're continuing it all the way into the month of July in the Tour de France. But Robert Kessing may be recovering. He's showing signs of fresh life towards the finish today after being dropped early on. He's their big man for the overall. The white jersey stays on the shoulders of Robert Kessing. I spoke with Judge journalists last night. They said, no, he's not going to make it. He'll be lucky to finish the tour. We think he's seriously injured. He went off the back in the first hour today. They got him back in the race. His team went back for him. He finished pretty well today. He keeps his place overall as the best young rider. And tomorrow he gets a little bit of a rest, so a chance to recover. And that's what is the secret of success in the Tour de France, the art of recovery. So you can go out every day and give it your best.